For the first time, one of the Italian jurors in the Amanda Knox trial is speaking publicly about the verdict. The juror says he was never convinced by the prosecution's case and believes the American student did not kill her British roommate. Meanwhile, Knox is adjusting back to life in the United States after arriving home in Seattle less than a week ago. Let's get the latest now from Jonathan Martin, staff reporter with the Seattle Times. Jonathan, good morning to you. Good morning, Alex. So she arrived back in Seattle Tuesday. What have you heard about how she's adjusting to life back here at home? She's adjusting very quietly and privately at this point. Uh, there's quite a few international press that are out looking for her right now, and uh, thus far they haven't been able to find her. You know, we saw her, and the video we're showing everyone right now, when she first took to that podium and she spoke very briefly after arriving. Uh, we've not heard from her since. Do you think we will hear her talking anytime again soon? I think it's likely she's, she's going to have to talk about her uh, conviction and trial and uh, Meredith's death. Uh, the question is, on what terms? Uh, by all indications, she is going to want to write in a book. Uh, and has been apparently writing while uh, she's while she was in, in jail. Hmm. Uh, I think we're. Uh, I think they're also. Uh, I've heard that Knox is going to be wanting to uh, lend her name or uh, get in, interested in uh, potential other wrongful conviction cases or questionable conviction cases of internationals abroad, including a man named Jason Perical from Tacoma here, who was uh, uh, convicted in Nicaragua. Hmm. I, I'm curious, are, are people hounding her? I mean, what, what was the scene outside her home? I believe it's a West Seattle uh, area home. I mean, yes. what, what was that like? Can she ever really go under the radar? That's a really good question. Uh, I think one of the, the you saw at the press conference in, uh, at SeaTac here on Monday or Tuesday that uh, she didn't have any concept, I think, of how large hmm. her name had become while she was in, in prison. You have to remember that she didn't have access to the Internet, and Twitter didn't even exist when she was uh, first convicted. So uh, on Tuesday, there was just ha ha hordes of people outside, but the, the local TV stations have made an interesting decision, and uh, all, this, all the stations pulled their news vans from out front I think that her ability to integrate uh, is going to be depending in part on the way Seattle uh, is going to let her live a normal life. Do we know what's next for her? Do we, do we have any idea? I mean, you say she's writing. She probably was writing, keeping something of a journal to keep her sanity while in jail for four years. But uh, does she want to go back to school? Because she was just a junior fall semester student in college. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I understand she does want to go back to the University of Washington. Um, the uh, the interesting thing from the Seattle perspective about her is that she looked quite typical uh, of a, uh, a Seattle University uh, college student. You know, she w had kind of had a, came across as sort of a hippie, somewhat a little bit loopy, guitar strumming, pot smoking, traveling kind of kid, which we found very, I think we will find in our culture very um, recognizable, but there was obviously some cultural differences that were um, in misinterpreted um, in her case. Mm. Um, the, the, the what comes next for her, I think, will be, um, like I guess it depends in part on Seattle's ability to let her live a normal life, but I think it's also the, her ability to deal with the, um, can the people that still believe. There's, and there is a core group of people that still believe that she got away with murder. Hmm. And I think her ability to, um, to deal with those people uh, and... Um, and also, she's got some other uh, proceedings uh, going on that are like being, uh, going on in Italy. Yeah. But it's mostly going to be the, the um, people that still believe she's guilty. Yeah, something for her to have to deal with, certainly. Jonathan Martin with the Seattle Times. Thank you.